My grandfather came to Texas from Arkansas when he was six years old, and he, uh, he and his family came to share crop a 180-acre farm and west over Texas between McGargle and Seymour. They came there and share cropped that farm, and from there my family's been involved in farming and ranching ever since. My grandfather bought the first versatile for his, for his middle son and uh, convinced him to buy one, and when he bought it, uh, we watched him have some success with, with that tractor, and then he began to buy quite a few for himself, and my dad ran the family operation for my grandparents started buying those versatiles. The first one he bought was in 1979, and then by 1982, he owned 11 of the 935 and 950 versatiles by, by 1982. We, he had diversified himself prior to that and ran different, different brands of tractors, and we'd have two of this and two of that, and did try all kinds of different brands of tractors at that time. When we started with the Versatiles, just had some success with them, and they were affordable, and they were a tractor that we as, we as a farmer could work on them ourselves, and maintenance was nothing for them. When we started running them, it was just something that we got accustomed to, and we just stayed with them from there on. Those tractors is just, the thing that stands out probably the most is just the horsepower that we get to the ground, that the work that they've done on being able to, the slippage on the tractors, they've refined that down to a, to a science where we can, even with the slip monitors and the radars, that we can, we're understanding what's going on. So when we change something, it's not what we think, it's what we know now. You know, you look at the planetaries and the rear ends and, and the drivetrain, Verstel still has that same drivetrain to date and just like as we we're talking, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That, that drivetrain, it, it's been simple and it's been affordable and you can sure depend on it. It's an outstanding ride, great comfort in the cab. It is just amazing at how far we've come from 1979 to, to 2015. It's, it's just amazing. Even buying my first one, I knew what product I wanted to buy. No one had to sell it to me, it sold itself. It was a product that didn't have to have a lot of salesmanship to it. Um, in our business, it's all about success to our bottom line. Looking at that, it's not hard to, just to watch success right across the fence on a neighbor's for sale property. And when you begin to see that neighbor has success, he doesn't have to tell you, you can see it for yourself. And, does that product add success to your bottom line? And I'm gonna say that Verstal has added success to our bottom line.